Hey guys, it's Butterbite at NextGenTactics.com. This is backlot offense. Do an A-side rush 90% of the time. I'll rush down the center in front of this uh, house. Um, and if you'll notice, I'm always keeping an eye out in this area for guys rushing into A. Um, as the, the path I take allows you to see guys that are coming in, whether they go in through that door or they come around the front. And that's why I take that path. And um, when I came in there, I noticed nobody was coming through. That's why I exited out the front to catch guys that were coming through the middle towards A. Um, sometimes you will eat grenades in that front area. And uh, if I do end up eating a grenade, then I will likely take uh, an alternate route the next round. Um, either up the ladder on the back side of A or directly into the target. So we're sort of covering the side and front area for our teammates that are inside A. And I have no idea what my, my other teammate is doing here. I mean, he had a good defensive position on the other side. I don't know why he's coming to rush across my position where I'm defending and he gets smoked. Just a ridiculous, stupid thing to do. And he gives the guy uh, UAV. So it's likely he went through the middle. I'm going to throw a stun just to make sure he doesn't flank me, and I'm going to come and try and catch him around the, the middle, and uh, we do. This is going to be a spawn area defense. Um, I'm not the master camper that Guns is, but... Uh, um, these guys in the previous round... Uh, one of the previous rounds... Yeah, would have been the previous round. I think they smoked us pretty good and they were rushing, so um, we're trying to set up defenses. I don't like setting it up right at the spawn just because you don't really have anywhere to go. I like to set up a couple claymores in these area in these areas that I did. Um, so that, you know, if a guy's coming at me from this direction, I can go back the other way. And I have some warning. You know, I still have a claymore behind me. Um, although the guy can run in and see it, he still has to shoot it to get by. So I'm just gonna check this side, I'm gonna come over to the other side. I mean, they know where, that, where I am, and they're aggressive. They're going to come after me. So we take this guy out. We still got that uh, Claymore. We use our UAV, but the Claymore he eats my Claymore, so... I don't do that very often. It's just... Typically when uh, they're rushing. See where you can see that area where they're coming at from uh, A? And I'm not sure what Guns is talking about. Something spicy and delicious. I don't know. Maybe he's talking about my ass. Anyways, there's some guys over here. Now this guy, I he's still firing. I mean, seriously. I disappeared to the left side. And, you know, there's another doorway. Maybe he didn't know there was. But uh, he's, like, firing like a madman. And I catch these two guys right here. Oh my god. You gotta be quick to get the kills. That was like... Hey, I'll be right behind you, spider. <laughs> yeah, that's where Guns is, right behind me, right where he belongs. Right. Okay, so we're doing the front. Again, we can see guys coming in today, so we're going to come in here, try and catch them. Unfortunately, they don't come right in. I mean, I'm trying to hit guys long range with the shotgun because it doesn't really work very well. Well, um, this is a very good defensive spot here this one with down. the shotgun. You can get guys coming in at you at close range. I want him to hide. That's what you want, obviously. Job up. Fight up. I always use a stun, uh, set up with a stun Fuck grenade as well, fucking die. Uh, just so that I can, you know, stun guys so that I can get into a closer range, so I can take them out. And this is why I generally like going to A with, uh, you know, a shotgun or SMG. Most of the time the enemy is going to go to A, um, but you can get into what? close quarters with A. If you go to B, there's a lot of um, um, areas grabbing the bomb or what? where, you know... It's long distance kills, like especially up in that, uh, the one building on the far side from one side of the building to the other. I mean, it's a fairly just long there, distance, it's kind of hard to, to um, kill guys with a shotgun. Uh, so that, that's why I stick to A, you want to keep I'm in close quarters. It, so I'm the last guy, I mean this seems to happen quite often. And it's not like I'm camping or hiding, you know, I'm rushing in, but quite often I end up being the last guy. Now one thing you're going to see me do, um, I believe I, I get the bomb planted here. But generally, uh, you, you'll get a lot of guys that sit in the, the top of the building in the middle, and they, you know, they're defending A. But if you sneak over and just keep inching your way over to the target until you see the, the square button pop up to plant, um, they can't see you. I mean, a lot of times guys will run right beside the target to plant. 
and uh, the guy that's on the top of the building in the middle will end up sniping him. So you just end your way over and the guy can't see me, there's no way. So we're just waiting for these guys to come in and try and defuse. We listen, there's nobody in here, I just want to make sure. Sometimes it happens that you, you don't end up hearing it. So I'm, I'm just going to keep moving here. And I mean, the guy just jumped down, probably likely behind me. He's probably above, um, on the second story. So we're just going to keep moving around. I can hear him moving around. But I like to keep active. I mean, a lot of times when you're sitting in the same spot, he doesn't give himself enough, enough time. But if you're sitting in one spot and the guy ends up surprising you, yeah, you got lucky. I find it's uh, sometimes it's harder to kill them as when you're moving around and Mr. you're ready to fire any time as soon as you see movement. Yo, I'm from Canada. No, he's not. So again, here's another uh, A rush. He came to Canada. It looks like our uh, team's going to be the plan. Yeah, I subscribed to him on YouTube. And we didn't go after that one guy. Just again, he's at a longer range yeah, we, than we, we would like. There. So we're gonna try and wait for him to come in, and he comes in. So we got a teammate here, pistol. Just kind of looking at us. He goes over and gets a kill, but then I think he ends up eating it. And oh, I already took one. He's taking out, and he get, eats the claymore. Oh, Bistol, put on bomb squad, buddy. <laughs> Anyways, I think there's a guy in there planting. Maybe not. Just trying to clear the area. Actually, we're on offense, so yeah, he wouldn't be planting. That was kind of stupid. So anyways, we got UAV. Now, he's actually coming at us, so we're going to let him come at us. Again, we want to get him into close range proximity so we can take him out with a shotgun. I mean, he should be moving around a lot more than he is, and we know exactly where he's coming. I mean, two shots, we don't take him out in one oh, shot with the uh, AK. What is this? Search and destroy. Okay, uh, this time we're actually going to throw a grenade. I don't do that that often, just because if you throw grenades, it takes time out from your rush, and you end up eating grenades a lot of the time. So we're going to go back down to our favorite spot. We do have, or did have a buddy in there with us. And these guys just keep coming. It's kind of funny, actually. They keep coming to try and take us out, but you know what? There's no way. There's another one. And here comes another one. He comes down foolishly to try and get us. Trying to help our teammates out. Give him some UAV, but it was a little bit late. You know this guy around the other side. We're going to rush around, see if we can get him. There he is. We end up taking him out. And there's one guy left. Now he's over on B side. Now I'm gonna go and get the bomb this time, just because I'm pretty sure he's gonna come to A. I just smoked the rest of his team. And I just take a look at the map just to see where exactly he is. And he is definitely going over to A, so we're gonna rush as fast as we can and get this bomb planted at B. Again, don't wait. We know he was headed over to A. Unless he backtracked right away as soon as the UAV went out, which sometimes I do. I mean, just to fuck the enemy up. Because they see you going in one direction, and as soon as the UAV ends, I change and go in the opposite direction. So we're just waiting for him here. We can hear him coming. He throws in a stun. Now, if he came in the front, he probably would have smoked us. As it is, I think he's trying to flank, and we get a good knife. And an airstrike. Hope you liked it, guys.